Welcome to The Idea Space, a podcast devoted to sharing strategies and tools to help you make your dream life possible. I'm your host, Jen Liddy, a teacher turned entrepreneur. It's my mission to help women grow their businesses and get what they want without feeling guilty, overwhelmed, or confused. If you're tired of your ideas spinning around your mind and you really want something more for yourself, you're in the right place. Learn how to create the space to make your ideas a reality. I promise if I can do this, anyone can. Let's go. Hi, welcome to the Idea Space podcast, where every week we talk about how to make space inside your mind and your life so that you can grow your business. I'm your host, Jen Liddy. Today, I want to share with you a solution to a problem that many entrepreneurs seem to struggle with. They don't know their superpower. Now, I talked a little bit about this last week, but when I ask my clients, my friends, my colleagues, how are you different than others in the marketplace who are doing the same thing that you are, or what makes you stand out, I am often met with silence. And this is a fancy term for unique selling proposition. And it's not something that many women have been trained to look for in themselves. Why? Well, I'll get to that in a little bit and I'll explain the why, but first let's talk about the what. A unique selling proposition or a value proposition is your unique way that you bring your offer, your work, your service, or your product to the world. It's basically how you meet a need in the marketplace. Let me give you an example. I need a good mascara because I'm no longer doing eyelash extensions and it's time to start wearing some makeup again. So which mascara is the best? Now, because I hate doing research so very much, I tend to crowdsource for information on Facebook. And thank God for my 946 Facebook friends who were very happy to answer the question, what's your favorite mascara? Now, I was not expecting what happened to Hapton, but holy she it. Do you have any idea how passionate women are about mascara? Because an avalanche of responses showed up on my feed. And I'm about to tell you what they said because each of their responses showed a unique value proposition in their answers for the mascara that they love. So I'm going to ask you, if people were talking about you and your offer, would they be this excited and specific? So these are from the 38 plus comments on my Facebook page, and I'm only going to read a few. Somebody said, it's natural, goes on easy, doesn't smudge, comes off easy. Gives you serious length and volume and never runs, even in workouts, worth the price. Conditions your lashes, is vegan, and doesn't feel crusty at the end of the day. You can easily find it in all stores, don't have to buy it from a rep. It's insanely expensive, but shockingly great. Now, if you ever wondered how the hell you can make something as banal as mascara unique, Read that list again, because I stopped counting at 25 different brands on the thread. Now, you can see the USP in each one because some people chose their favorites by price or by how it's sourced. Some people liked that it was vegan, etc. Some by how easy it is to get, not having to order from somebody else and can just go to a store and get it. Others choose theirs by how it makes their lashes look and feel, which would, you would think would be the only thing that they would be looking for, but it's not. They're looking for how easy it is to get on and take off and how much it costs and where it came from and how to get it. Now, knowing your USP, the stuff that you sell, makes it so much easier for you to sell your stuff. And then it's really easy for other people to recommend you. And that is marketing gold. When you can get somebody to recommend you with as much passion as these women had about their mascara, well, you're going to be so much easier off. Now, there are intersections of these unique selling points. For example, you know, I'll pay a lot personally, but the, it has to be amazing. And it has, to, it has to actually extend my little teeny tiny pathetic lashes and also come off without much work because I don't want a lot of rubbing on my eyes. So those are the things I'm looking for. So I'm looking for a brand that can fit what I'm looking for. And this week, I'm going to spend money on some new brands based on the feedback that I got. Now, that is why knowing and sharing what makes you unique in the marketplace is vital. And I hope that you understand this is worth the time to do. And so next up, after we understand that the USP is vital and that the specialness of us is vital, it's time to understand why doing this work is so hard. We just haven't figured it out yet, right? 
So you want to know why it's so hard? Well, because no one encouraged us to think about what makes us different for most of our lives. Personally, I spent a lot of time wishing, why can't I just fit in? Why can't I look like everyone else? Why can't I dress like everyone else? Why can't I be like everyone else? (laughs) Why can't I just have Jordache jeans like every other normal eighth grader in 1983? And I'll tell you why, because at that time they cost 45 damn dollars and my parents didn't have it. The question, what makes me special, did not occur to me at all. Fitting in was my superpower, and it took a lot to undo that, and maybe that's true for you. Maybe that's why this question is so hard for you. But here's a secret. One benefit to having done a whole bunch of varied stuff in your life means that you have superpowers no one expects. Take my former client, Catherine. She's a productivity coach, and because of breast cancer, chemo brain, and curiosity about brain fog, she cultivated a superpower, helping women with ADHD be productive. She gets them. She knows exactly how to message and work with them. Now, who would have expected that from getting and beating breast cancer? Or take my business coach, Patty. She's a former type A conservative banker. She's now an intuitive business coach, like intuitive gets messages from angels and guides kind of intuitive, not "Hmm, I had a hunch you were going to order the shrimp at lunch kind of intuitive. Her varied experiences cultivated her superpower to create programs that help people receive abundance with ease. Now, doing this work to figure out what makes you unique is not easy. And It's the work I'm actually doing with my masterminders right now, and they are really having a lot of mind-blowing moments. They're saying things like, I listen so deeply that I hear what's not even being said. Like That was an incredible moment for that client. And I help my clients tell an entire story with one photo. That was a photographer client of mine who is amazing at visuals for those, especially helping those people who aren't. Here's how you can do this for yourself. There are three questions to get you there. I want you to sit by yourself and listen to what comes up because you've been trained to shoo away the good parts of yourself. You've been trained to poo-poo the parts of yourself where you know that there's something a little special about you. It's okay to say good things about yourself. So the first question is, what is so easy and fun for you that it feels as natural as breathing? Like you just do it without even thinking about it very much. To me, this is teaching business and content creation. Now, the second question is, where have you added value to an organization or an event or a meeting or a group? You know, where did you show up and like start helping out and people were like, damn, we couldn't have done this without you. We're so glad you're here. That's what I want you to think about. Where have you just showed up and started adding value because you are you? Maybe it was that you are highly organized. Maybe it's that you are super creative. Maybe it's that you are a creative problem solver. The next thing, the third question is, what's unexpected about you? Where did you zig when everyone else zagged? For example, maybe you are a hair stylist, and instead of going to college, like all of your friends did, at 18, you instead went and got trained on how to be an esthetician and a hairstylist. And now because you have the, the, all of this experience and all of this training, you are now ready to open up your own salon and spa. And maybe that's something that people with an MBA aren't ready to do because they don't have your expertise in the field. So really understand that when you zigged, when everyone else zagged, that makes you unique and it counts. So just start there. When you understand that your unique selling point, that thing that you have that others do not have, it gets so much easier to grow your business because you're going to talk about what makes you different. Now, one last thing here. You will not figure this out overnight, so please stop expecting to. I can't tell you how many women I talk to who shrug or roll their eyes at me when I ask them this question, and they just say, I don't know, I can't figure it out. Well, it took me a long time to figure out what makes me special. It takes work and thinking, reflecting, talking to others that you've already worked with to find out what they think of you. In fact, that last one, talking to others you've already worked, worked with to get their feedback, is one of the most amazing ways to figure out what makes you special. That's why I created a swipe file for you so that you can get helpful feedback from the people you've already helped. It gets you amazing reviews that convert future customers, audience members to customers, because they're they're going to learn what makes you unique, how exactly you help, and the results that you get for people. You can download that at 
www.jenliddy.com forward slash ask, A-S-K. You'll get the simple system and all the swipe files to tell you exactly what to say so that you don't even have to think about this part. Now, next week, I'll be sharing a free audio training to take you from, I don't know what makes me unique to, oh, I see it now. Tune in then for that free audio training. Talk to you next week. Bye. Thanks for joining me today. If you like what you heard, please subscribe to the Idea Space in your podcast app and tell that friend of yours who needs some help getting where she wants to go. I'd be so appreciative if you left a review because then we can help more women create the space for their ideas too. Go to jenliddy.com forward slash free to grab the many free resources there to help you move forward. And I will see you next time. Bye.